Father has, the power that when we learn to submit our will to His, great things can happen, miracles happen. Sometimes we just don't understand the power of those miracles in our families. Sometimes as human beings we just expect to dictate to our Heavenly Father and because we dictate to Him we expect that He returns to us. That's just not the way He works. When we learn to take our Heavenly Father seriously, He too takes us seriously. But not seriously with our minds, because it's very easy to take Him seriously with our minds, but with our hearts. Our hearts, when desiring the right thing, and when we put Heavenly Father in front, can cause mighty things to happen. Where your children can come home every evening and settle in and learn from you. And one of the things that we spoke about was the fact that you are sending away your children to boarding school. Now, I know many reasons have been given. I know many definitions, many excuses. But the fact is, the brethren have told us, if you want to strengthen your family, keep your children with you at all times. The world is not getting easier. It's getting harder by the day. What you don't teach in the home will be taught elsewhere in the wrong way. And you will be to blame. No one else. Now, when the brethren tell us these things, they're not telling us because they know it is easier. In fact, if anything, I have learned from our Heavenly Father's commandments, any commandment that has been given is equally hard to keep. But the moment we learn to keep it, over time it comes easier to manage. Because through the principles that are taught there, we come to understand. It's just like driving a car. The first time you ask to drive a car, there's fear that engulfs you. You're not sure. You're thinking of all the negative things that can go wrong. I'm going to have an accident. I'm going to ride drive on the wrong on the wrong side. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Then you get on the wheel and you press on the accelerator by mistake, and the car moves on. And probably you're thinking, how are you going to bash the car in front of you? Are you going to press on the brake? But over time. As you learn to drive it, then it becomes second nature. And I invite you here in this meeting today, please reconsider taking your children to day school so that you can have more time with them. Degradation that is happening in society is becoming worse. But we as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have an opportunity to rectify that. It's going to be harder. When the prophet came here, earlier this year, he mentioned something. One of the things that had been declared earlier on is that a temple was going to be built in Nairobi. And we all shouted with joy, and we said, you know, yippee, the temple is coming. But when he came here, he said, it's easier to build a temple than a temple going people. And today I want to take this opportunity to teach you how we're going to be a temple going people. It's through the things that you have learned in this conference. But most importantly, the thing that you need to do is bring your children home. Be the people who will be responsible for teaching them. Create your home as a place of refuge. I look at my life. I think of the struggles that I face on a daily basis. Every day I go out into this world, I face all the challenges that I see, all the negativity, all the opposition, and I have to come back home and when I gather with my family, we try and reconcile. Now, when you send your children away, it takes them three months away from your home, away from the place of refuge, a place, away from the place where they can come back and reconcile. And they have to reboot their systems afresh. Then you know what happens? Many years later, when we're now trying to instill in them the principles of wanting to go on mission, the principles of them wanting to become responsible in society and they don't do it, then you wonder why. This is the time to do it. For those who have young children, make it a goal to keep them in your home. When you're not friends with your children, let me tell you, the danger that lies there, there's you being a parent, but then equally there's you being a friend to your children. Parenting will always be parenting. But friendships, builds bond, uh, bonds, and bonds shape people. And when you shape people, you shape society. The temple going people, we must learn from today that you must put the Lord first in everything. Sacrifice is not convenient. It has never been. Sometimes I feel we want the things that we do for the Lord to be convenient to us. It has never been and will never be. 
and be willing to sacrifice when you are called upon to sacrifice. It will be difficult, but it will be rewarding. The choice is yours to make.